Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is part 6 of 9 of the full review of the Creators Update. In this um, video, we will talk about the different apps that have been updated in Creators Update. So in Creators Update, of course, new apps or mostly there is one new app, but mostly all the apps, the uh, basic Windows apps that come with your system have been updated. So um, they are, of course, have a new interface. They have shuffled things around a little bit in order to make them um, a little more user friendly. You know, lots of comments of different users around with the time uh, made them understand, you know, where they could make some changes. So um, what's new? Well, of course, the new app is the Paint 3D. For the first time in so many years, Microsoft has now decided let's update Paint and have it do some 3D stuff. And of course, if you use it in combination with the 3D Remix website, you will be able to do some 3D stuff. And of course, we're waiting for that mobile app where you can actually take any objects and make a 3D image of it. Uh, that's also going to be really, really cool. So Paint 3D, pretty, pretty nice little paint program. If you're used to uh, paint, of course, overhaul so you know options and everything are a little different but still um, you know nice and I would say even better because of the new features uh, that is uh, enabled thanks to this so paint 3d that's the new one and um, of course look at my focused videos will be focusing on these creators updates even more in these uh, highlights of creators updates Apart from that, pretty much every app has been updated. We have uh, the mail app that's been updated to be a little better, to have a focused inbox. Some people like it, some people don't. What's the focused inbox? It's the ability of your mail to be kind of separated into what's important and what's not. So focused inbox uh, will let you have the most important stuff in that box and other, well, you know, we usually do get junk mail from uh, websites that we of course have subscribed to so that could go into other so that they don't mix in together uh, negative side focused inbox doesn't work with every type of account it works with the Microsoft accounts but if you have a Gmail or a Yahoo mail in here there won't be any focused inbox and um, I would guess it's because there's probably some kind of service that they uh, do with this to uh, help other uh, improvements, Groove Music has been improved and uh, it is uh, better than ever. It also is more uh, interesting because there were some sync problems, there were all sorts of weird problems with the um, with a Groove app. And of course I am a big Groove app user since I synchronize my music from the cloud with OneDrive into my Android phone and also on the Android and iOS. Um, there's updates to the apps. You can now actually do playlists that you can even share with your friends and that's pretty cool. So whatever you do, you simply do your playlists and everything. Uh, of course, there's some uh, radio stuff, custom channels of radio that are available and um, you have, of course, your playlist that you can do. It's better organized than it was before and they can even give you recommendations uh, based on what you actually are playing. So you have the recommended uh, stuff depending on what you listen to. And of course, um, it's really um, beginning to look like a really beautiful app. Uh, you know, uh, Groove, like many of the apps in Windows 10, were kind of a little basic at the start. They're getting better and better all the time. And of course, if you have a uh, Groove Music Pass, you can uh, pretty much listen to almost anything you want. So uh, pretty cool app in Groove Music and the new options to share with friends uh, playlists is, is also very very interesting of course they need to be on Groove also movies and TV app also have been uh, revamped to get better access to the different movies and TV shows that you've uh, actually been looking at and uh, you also have uh, of course your purchase stuff and personal stuff that you might have so you can add videos that are on your PC and it supports a wide range of formats. I gotta say it's nice 
but I still prefer using a third-party app like uh, Downpod Player or VLC uh, to view my videos. For some reason, I, I just find that these interfaces are kind of, for me, more interesting. Uh, and they truly play pretty much everything. Here, there are some formats where they're still, um, you know, that they're still not gonna work well. Apart from that, there was an update to the Photos app. It's a, a totally revamped Photos app now. And of course, you know, all of these apps, I will look into much more details as I do my creative um, videos, my creative um, highlights for the um, Windows 10 uh, creative version. So, um, you know, I think it's uh, going to be um, interesting to see more in detail because here it's mostly to look at, you know, the fact that they've been revamped. Um, I gotta say the Photos app is nice. It, for me, it's better than the uh, original. A lot of you say, well, you know, I like the original better. Uh, but look at the videos coming up. Uh, a lot of you have a lot of questions also um, of, as to how it works and where to uh, to do things. So in Creative Update, it's uh, a new Photos app that uh, gives you all sorts of details. And you know, what's nice with the Photos app, you, you can pretty much do retouch on every picture that you want, you can remove red eyes, uh, you don't need, you know, third-party software to do it, and uh, I, I find it okay, and uh, of course, um, look at my videos that I'll be posting uh, apart um, for that. And of course, some of the new tweaks is, for example, if you're using the movies and TV, you um, have possibility to play 4K now, which was not available at the anniversary update you have picture-in-picture -picture video. So if you play a video in your movies and TV app, and then you decide to go on the web, for example, you turn on Microsoft Edge, well, there's a little square that will be on the corner of your screen, and that will always stay on top, still playing the video that was in the app. So a uh, nice little add-on here to uh, continue watching some of the videos. And uh, basically, if you um, like that, it's uh, one of the features, of course, uh, and a lot of these features that I will highlight in the Creators Update highlights that I will do in the videos. Um, another thing also in the Photos app that is interesting is that there's now more support for tags. So if you tag people, if you do, uh, you know, places, you go into different places or you have different objects, uh, the Photos app now can recognize all of this. So basically, if you have pictures with the same friends and you take new pictures with these friends, a Photos app will know if you search by friends that, oh, this is your friend, you know, Jerry, your friend, Mark, your friend, Elizabeth, whatever, you know. And um, it also can recognize places. If you go back in the same place, they will actually say, oh, uh, this is a picture that goes with that place that you visited. It can tag also objects. So if you look at your videos or your, your pictures and you're like, okay, show me all the pictures that have a, a table in them. Well, it's gonna be able to search through your pictures and say, okay, all the pictures that you have posted that have a table are these. So really lots of improvements in here uh, for sure. So these are basically updates to the different apps and of course more precision will be done as we go through the highlights where I will focus and each of these apps I will do a video explaining how they work and how to you know go around them it's time that uh, we do some nice little videos uh, explaining all of these different apps here in Windows 10 creators update if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. I hope you enjoy our full review, the Creators Update of Windows 10.